Hi, this is Brian from Pittsburgh Power again. Uh, what we got, what we have here today is we have a 88 Big Cam 4. We're gonna do a little bit of a, a little bit more information on a timing video. Some of the people were being confused because we're using an N14. All right, most I'm not gonna go over a lot of the small things because they're all the same. We're gonna rotate in direction of rotation. We're watching the gauge on the piston. Okay, we found top dead center. See, I go past it, and it goes the other way. I go back this way, goes the other way whenever I'm on top dead center. So I'm zeroed on top dead center on the piston. Now I'm gonna go in direction of rotation, and I'm gonna watch the dial on my camshaft, all right? And see how it goes up? It's gonna go up to here, and it's gonna stop. That is not where you zero it at. That's where the confusion was. On an N14, it does not sweep backwards. This one sweeps backwards, okay? So, it sweeps backwards, and then it stops. And, and it stops right about the 90 degree mark on here, about a quarter turn of the crankshaft, all right? But I keep going just to make sure that it does stop. And I'll show you later, if you're on a wrong stroke, that it will not stop at that time. Okay, we bring this down to the bottom just to make sure we got our enough travel and we're at the right zero on here. Now, that was direction of rotation with the crankshaft. Now we're going to go opposite direction of rotation with the crankshaft. And as you can see, the dial, this dial on the camshaft is going counterclockwise. So on our gauge, we have red numbers that we're going to read. Those are the numbers you want to read, not the black numbers on that gauge. Okay, we're top dead center on a piston. We're going to go. 250 thousandths, which is two and a half revolutions. It's not a critical, it's just to take your back backlash out of the gear. One, two, it's real sticky right there. See, I went past, it doesn't matter. What is critical is you come up to three before zero, which is 203 thousandths. Okay, there you go. I'm at three before, which is 203 thousandths, and I'm at 100, this, this dial was going this way. It made one full sweep, plus another 35 thousandths. So I'm 135 thousandths. On an 88 Big Cam 4, we timed 135 thousandths. So I just wanted to set straight the confusion on a dial sweeping the other way. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go completely around and show you what it'll do if you're on the wrong stroke. Okay? Okay, see we're coming up. Piston's coming up again. Well, I'm not going to worry about where top dead center is. Sometimes it, it changes a little bit whenever you leave the piece off of the... I'll see that was pretty close. Now we're going to keep coming in direction of rotation with the crankshaft like we're trying to find our zero for our cam. And you'll see that I'm at the 90 where this stopped and started going the other way when I was on the right stroke and it never stops. If you get the whole way down to the bottom of your base and that needle didn't stop, you know you're on the wrong stroke, all right? So that's the wrong stroke, same thing. Keep going in direction of rotation. Pass top dead center. All right. See, 
the gauge stops, it sweeps back. Where it stops here isn't where you zero your gauge. You go ahead and keep sweeping back till you're basically a quarter of a turn with the crankshaft, which is this 90 degrees here. That gauge will quit moving and I can go the whole way to the bottom and it doesn't move anymore. That tells you you're on the right stroke. Any questions that you have on timing one of these engines, feel free to call me. I'm Brian at Pittsburgh Power. Thank you.